Welcome to Bite Size Data Science. We've covered some ground in our understanding of data science and machine learning. We talked about why we should care about data science, machine learning, and deep learning, and the fact that it is a team sport and people that already have skills related to data organization and manipulation, such as SQL, are still relevant. This was also shown through a data science methodology and the fact that roughly 80% of the time is likely spent in areas outside machine learning and deep learning. We then dove into some foundations with reminders about basic statistics, including concepts that may be a bit further down in our memory, such as standard deviation and variance, which lead to the normal curve and the concept of linear regression and models. We learned that machine learning is used mainly in areas of prediction, classification, and clustering. This is where we started looking at machine learning models starting with moving average and followed by decision trees, k-means, naive base, and the collaborative filtering algorithm using alternating least squares. Do you remember which one is a supervised algorithm and which one is an unsupervised one? So. Are we data scientists now? Of course not, but it allows us to start participating in the conversation. Where do we go from here? We could cover more machine learning algorithms. We could get into deep learning and talk about neural networks, convolutional networks, and the like. It is time to get into technologies and see what is available out there. Eventually, we'll come back to additional discussions on machine learning, deep learning, and AI. For people that want to dig deeper on their own, I have a few suggestions. You can get the book Data Science for Business. This will give you more stuff to think about. For the ones that want to get into the nitty gritty of machine learning, I strongly suggest the Coursera class on machine learning taught by Andrew Eng. If you don't care about getting credits for it, you should be able to audit it for free. For your convenience, I created a playlist with many of the class videos. To move forward with the content of Bite Size Data Science, you don't need to go through the book, the class, or the Andrew Eng playlist. We're moving forward with our current knowledge and looking at technologies and how to apply it. See you next time on Bite Size Data Science.